Hi, it's Lou Agave of Long Island Lou Tequila on Facebook, Instagram, and the web, and we got Dan Agave. He's with us tonight. We're fresh off our trip to Mexico. We just got back. We're going to do something insane tonight. They all are going to think I'm nuts, but you can't take it with you. This is sort of one of those because you can't buy this in the U.S. Not easily, anyway. We just got back from Siete Leguas. That's up at Nam 1120 in the Chienga section of Jalisco. Oh, my God. These people were unbelievable. You're talking about this wonderful son, Juan Fernando Gonzalez Oliveras, and his father, Fernando Gonzalez. This family is beautiful. They are the nicest people. Right, son? Oh, so genuine, so welcoming. They have, like, three facilities, you know, distilleries, whatever you want to call it, all under the umbrella Casa Siete. Okay, they got one down the block, and not very far down is their second facility, you know, one has the shredder roller and all of that, where they do fibers, where they, you know, ferment with fibers, the other one they don't, one's got the Tohona, and now they're building a third distillery. Top secret, huh? <laughs> Ooh, we're not supposed to, we couldn't take pictures there, it hasn't opened yet, it will any second, it is unmarvelous, right? It's going to be called La Victoria, and what are they having there? Three watts. Three, uh, three uh, Tahona, Tahona yeah, pits. Yeah, yeah. And it's just the way they treat the animals, the donkeys and everything is just, it's its really mind-blowing. It's just such a warm... With the sand. Oh, <laughs> you know, the donkeys don't like to walk down the ramp because it's too slippery. They get scared. They won't come in from the new facility, which they built as a ramp leading to the three Tahona pit. They put like this whole thing with sand and dirt so that, so the animals would feel comfortable, right? I mean, yeah. every all copper, all Tahona... Basically, the the brand does a blend, though. So one of their, you know, facilities has the shredder roller going. Oh, my God, it's unbelievable. The other one's got the only working Tahona with donkeys in yeah. existence for tequila. Yep. And um, it's so traditional. So they blend it together, you know, the different maceration types. And we learned a lot, and we had a great time. Um, you know, they honored us. In so many ways, by, you know, getting special permission from the CRT to open up a, what was it, a 14-year or a 17 roof XA? It was on, we went down into the cellar where they keep all their amazing... Siphoning it out of the barrel. Tons <laughs> of aged tequila, yeah. siphoning it out of the barrel with Arturo, the master distiller. Oh, man, and we had a feast that was unbelievable, right? Unforgettable experience. I mean, they're right at the top. It, Best pork I ever had in my life, but that's besides the point. I mean, the food was phenomenal, and that new distillery. But then, then, they honored me and my friends, my whole group, with gifts, bottle gifts. My son and myself received what we've never had, the single barrel, and that's what we're going to talk about tonight. This is a signed, autographed, and etched, and etched, okay, of uh, Long Island Lou Tequila, and then on the front, Lou Agave. I thought it was just, I was so touched that they did this for me. My son also got the single barrel. It was just, it's a beautiful thing. Um, I love that family. So I've never had this, and we're going to open it now. I just talked to uh, Juan Fernando uh, Gonzalez, the son, on the phone a little while ago. He said, you're crazy opening this up. It's a, it's a collector's item. You well, can't get I, him in I the U.S. I agree with him. I'm never opening mine. He's never <laughs> opening his, so he wants to taste mine. Listen, I've had... Their other one, and I'm about to do another review on this guy soon. So here's the D'Antonio Extranjero. This one is five to eight year blend. It's phenomenal. We had it. We had it at Siete Luas yeah, during oh, one of their tastings. Incredible. He had it for the first time. It is incredible. And I don't even know which one we're going to like more, but I've never, we've never had the single barrel. So, of course, you know, single barrel means there's no blending. Yep. Most of the time, they have all these different barrels. They blend them together, and they put out their product. Um, this is a case where, you know, I kind of always said about single barrel, it's only good if barrel. you got the right barrel, right? But, yeah, yeah, you live and die with that's exactly right. This happens to be now. Here, show everybody the bottle while I talk about this. This is bottle number 25. He even told me the room it came out of. It's called 8V, and we were in 8V. 8V was like this dungeon-like cellar room where they have all their... Tons. Siete Leguas has a lot of aged tequilas. Okay, and they've been starting to use them in the last couple of years. So that's what this is. This is bottle 131 out of bottles 241. Okay, and it's eight years and four months aged. All right, eight years and four months Not aged. Bad. It's about $300, you know, US, if you could ever find it. You know, um, 
And they're, like I say, they're really only sold in Mexico, okay? You really have to go to the store down there and pick it up, all right? So it's it's really a collector's item. So we're going to we're gonna pop this open, all right? That's what we're going to do. I'm going to gonna let you do it there, my son. Uh, don't wipe off the uh, signature if you yeah. can. So while he's doing that, I just want to tell you about a couple of things. So like I said, there's really three facilities now, counting the new one that's going to open soon. They they do that, but they're going to continue to do a blend of Tahona and Shredder, and they're getting bigger. They've, they've always been very popular in Mexico. It's one of the top two or three most popular brands ever in Mexico. Now they're getting big in the U.S. Siete Leguas is amazing. You know, Siete Leguas means, you know, seven leagues. So that's um, Pancho Villa's horse was called Seven Leagues. There's even a picture of Pancho Villa down there that we saw. How's it smell? <laughs> Real good. Let me take that. Oh, it's going to cherry, that cherry. Wow. wow. Yeah, cherry and honey, right? Let it so, sit, right? Yeah, let's let it sit for a few minutes while we talk. So you got those uh, you got those donkeys pulling in the, the Tohono pit, which is something to see. It really is. And um, it's just, it's just a, the family's just amazing. It really is, you know? So it was very generous to them what they did. Siete Leguas, stone brick oven cooked, Tohono and Shredder, as yeah. we both saw, blended together. That's that's their signature. And it really gives a nice. I think they throw the fibers on the top too. Uh, uh, one of the distilleries they they ferment with fibers, with fibers and the other the, one they don't. Throw, okay, yeah. right. So uh, stainless steel fermentation, open air, which is cool, um, and all um, you know special wild yeast, double distilled, all copper. It's all they have in there. It's great. Never any additives with Chete Laguas. Never, you know. So, so again, you know this, and what a beautiful area, right? Oh. God, it was gorgeous. The region was incredible. Oh, um, phenomenal. You know, streams coming down and the beautiful climate. Just really, there. really yeah. beautiful. They advertise this uh, single barrel, okay, as 8 to 12 years, okay? It's toasted. It's a single barrel, and it's in American white oak used barrels, okay? So that's basically the way that this works. And I think it's time to give this a sip because you can't take it with you, even if you can't buy it. But if you guys run into this from what... I'm going to assume you might want to pick it up for special occasions. I'll let you know in a second. Because it's up there in price. I mean, let's be honest. You know, it's about $300 if you can get it. And, you know, you're talking about in the category of some of the very top extra añejos now. You know, you know who they are. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, wow, right off the bat. I don't know about you, but I get like honey. Cherry and oak. Cherry, oak, a lot of wood. But it's funny, you still get that sweet. Remember, remember the, the agave, how it had that honey and a sweet potato and, yeah. and, and, and candy yams and all that. It still has a little bit of that. Oh, for sure. It, more than I thought it would for, for how was it, eight like years once old? Once you smell that in the distillery, you'll never uh, forget that smell. Unbelievable. I mean, it's eight years and a couple months. That's insane. It's floral, it's fragrant. Just a little vanilla, not a lot. A little chocolate, maybe like a cocoa, maple, maple syrup, it's like, right? It's a really great smell. You know, it has like a raisin, raisin, a plum, that kind of thing, you know? Fruit, you know, it's definitely got that. All right, I'm going to drink it. He can't wait. I've been drank since Mexico. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't drank since we got back from Mexico, because you might say we had a little too much. Actually, he was my babysitter down there. <laughs> Thank God I brought him. Oh, boy, did I have a wild time. It's just phenomenal down there in Jalisco. And Siete Leguas... Special place in our heart. Yep. Wow, did they, those people are just phenomenal. And their product, I always loved it. I mean, Siete Leguas is amazing. But their extra, I love their Blanco. I love their Añejo. And their XAs, I mean, I know the D'Antonio is just, you know, amazing. I'll be doing another review on that. I did a written review years ago on the whole line, except for the single barrel. And here's the single barrel now. All right. So All right. Good. Wow. I would say it's got a smokier uh, a r taste more than I was expecting. So, like a little tobacco, yeah, smoke, yeah, yep, leather, yep, right? Yep. So, a lot of these really aged tequilas, like, you know, Carlos does with some of the uh, extra aged, you start to get that butterscotch but leather and smoke and, you know, um, you know, coffee and stuff like roasted nuts a lot of times, but... I like the honey. I like the cherry. I like the maple, but it's not a That's lot. Good. It's not syrupy. It's just nice, just where it should be, right? Yep. Got some spice feel to mm -hmm. it. Uh, mm -hmm. it. It packs a punch, but it's it's enjoyable. I would have to say, 
it doesn't have the oak of an eight and a half year, almost eight and a half year tequila. It's not overly oak. It's not all wood. No, it's, you know, it's, it's been sitting in whiskey, oak type of thing. But like I say, it's got a lot of that, still got some agave sweetness to it. It's really got a nice spice, cinnamon, maple, like I say, honey, cherry, with vanilla and caramel, but only a little bit. I, I'm so happy because I really love a ton of vanilla and caramel. You know, it's nice to have a little, but that's good. Mm. I, I like the smell. The smell is incredible. Mm. And they say, what is it? 85% of it is the smell. Yeah, I yeah, so yeah. They say. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it's really made really well. Me and uh, Dan Agave over here had a great time there. They make great products. And, uh, all right, you better get your last sips in because I'm going to seal this baby up probably right after this review. Oh my and that's going to be it for this guy for a while. The bottle's just exquisite. And I want to thank them again. Look at the color, huh? That's a nice, that's a nice, rich, golden, you know. Let's look at the legs for a second here. We have our Glen Karens tonight. We didn't want to go with too much of a wide opening. I'm happy with this. Oh, wow. They're slow moving. Look how slow. These are not dripping down quickly right. at all. And, you know, one. they don't use additives, so they didn't put any extra glycerin in here, which is a lot of times what they'll do uh, to give them more of a mouthfeel, a thicker feel, and all that. This is just slow forming, and when it happens, oh, it still goes slow. It makes you wait. This is cool. Yep. This is really good stuff. So, you know, $300, listen, if you can get it, if you're not in Mexico or you can find someone to get it up here for you, yeah, okay, it's, you know, a lot of money. It's more than I can normally afford, but for a special occasion, you know, you have those other ones that are up close to that price range. I mean, even the D'Antonio's up there, about $269 on Long Island. I bought this bottle, I think it was $269 recently, all right, so... You pay for that for quality like this, you know? Absolutely. And you don't just, you know, guzzle it down. You, you use it for special occasions. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. We're having a little treat, right? Wow, this is really nice, isn't it? So we want to thank the Gonzalez family again. Uh, this is an amazing product. I love it. If I was rating this on Tequila Matchmaker, which I'll do right now. <laughs> Lou Agave will do that. As you can see, I, love, I can't believe I have my name on the bottle. Uh, I was, I, I'm going to go with something like a 90 on this. Myself, um, let me just make sure. <laughs> what do you have that one scored as? Is that one, do you have that rated? I did it on a paper review, a written review years ago. I'm kind of thinking I had it about 89, 90, and, and maybe it was even 91, because uh, I really loved that. I really, really loved that. Uh, but I, I'm going to go with a... I think I'm going to go with a 90 on this. I am. I'm going to go with a 90 on this. Um, it's it's really nice. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the barrel. Barrel 25, this is really nice. Yep. I like it a lot, right? I mean, it's a little astringent where it dries just a little bit quickly yep. on you, but yep. not not really overly astringent. Um, you know, it goes out with some fruit, sweetness, oak for sure, but you get a little of that cooked agave. Can you believe it? Eight years and four months? Yeah, I would agree with it. I would say 89, 90, right, right in that range. Uh, this is right up there, belongs in your collection. You can find it for sure. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it down as, a, I'm gonna put it down as a 90. I'll go 90 on this. All you right, know? I'll go 90. So because that's signed. really, yeah, that's really, uh, you know, that's always a bonus. You know, that's, uh, it's a nice bottle. It's a beautiful bottle. I want to thank them again. Um, if you guys ever have a chance to get down to uh, that area, Siete Laguas area, it's just. Uh, it's amazing. You know, that's all I could say. They're the nicest people you ever met and they're all about quality. There's no cutting corners. They let you see any, you can go anywhere you want. You can walk wherever you want. There's no secrets. It's all old school. I mean, you can watch the donkeys. They they do a wonderful job with the architecture too. They oh. integrate it with like the old fashioned church. Uh, they had like, oh, incredible Art, artwork and it was beautiful. Yeah, it's traditional in, in every sense, uh, you know, that you could really say. Uh, the family's just beautiful greatest people um you're gonna love it so you know siete laguas single barrel is really i would say you can get it even though it's 300 bucks listen it's special you gotta pay for special you just do look how long it's been aging and stuff i saw the place it's aging in you know it's not cheap they have a big large facility there and pretty soon we'll do a review on this guy too so you know lou agave and dan agave long island Lou tequila salud salud